We saw in the previous video how rule user input could be injected into an SQL query and used to alter the logic of the query. The culprit is the single quote. If this was not allowed to enter the SQL query, the problem would be solved. To achieve this, we need to escape these quote marks with backslashes, just as we did earlier on in the lesson on string delimiters. One way of doing this is to use the PHP function MySQL Real Escape String. So we can see the effect of this, let's first edit display.php to echo the username and the password. Now, in the variable assignment, instead of taking the post value raw, wrap MySQL Real Escape String around it. Save and refresh. Now, if you try to use the injection snippet that we used before to get into the database, it won't work anymore. And we can see that the single quotes have been escaped with backslashes, so they can no longer interfere with the logic of the SQL query. MySQL Real Escape String performs a standard battery of escapes regardless of the data it receives. An improvement on it is to use the newer real escape string, which acts on the $DB object, the database object, and takes into account the character encoding of the database. So type in $password equals, and then $DB, and then the right pointing arrow, and then real escape string wrapped around the variable assignment. This takes into account characters which are already made safe by the database encoding. So it saves server effort, because it avoids making unnecessary changes to data which is already safe. Either of these methods are fine and effectively prevent SQL injection. A further method is to use prepared statements, where the user input and the SQL query are completely separate. And we'll look at prepared statements in the next lesson.